Hey, what's up? It's Matt, here to empower your inner video creator. And in this video, we're talking all about B-roll. What is it? Why would you use it? And how to shoot and edit B-roll and use it in your videos. If you're a filmmaker, then B-roll is a word that you've probably heard a few times in the industry. If you don't know what B-roll is, then the best way to describe it is it's supplemental footage that you use to cut away from the main action and help better tell your story. And it doesn't just have to be video footage. It could be photos, uh, graphics, or even animations. So B-roll has saved my projects many times. So I'm gonna show you how to use it in four different ways and how to shoot it. So let's go. The most common way to use B-roll is, say when you're shooting an interview and your subject starts talking about something, you cut away to that B-roll of what the person's talking about. So let's say I'm shooting an interview with JJ and it's about pizza. She's telling me about her favorite pizza. My favorite pizza has to be, well I have two favorites and they're both very plain. One is cheese and my other favorite is pepperoni pizza. But I'm just using that one shot. It can get a little boring to watch that one shot for a long period of time. Whereas if I insert some shots of B-roll, that can really spice it up and make it a little more interesting. So I'll use some shots of pizza. My favorite pizza has to be, well I have two favorites and they're both very plain. One is cheese and my other favorite is pepperoni pizza. Another great use of B-roll is you can cover up mistakes when you're talking to the camera. So if I fumble a line or screw up, I can just cut away to a second angle or a shot of B-roll and you won't even know that I screwed up. <laughs> like that. A little bit. Like here. Another example of using B-roll is to change up the pacing. So sometimes during an interview there's boring parts that you want to cut out because someone made an error or they're boring or someone just went off topic. So what I'll do is I'll actually cut those parts out and I can actually cut to a piece of B-roll or I'll cut to my second camera angle. Let's check out this piece real quick. Three words to describe eating pizza. Um, well, one is comfort. It's comforting. Um, oh, what's another word? Um, happiness? <laughs> Three words to describe eating pizza. Well, one is comfort. Happiness? <laughs> A feeling of no, like, you can't, I can't really describe it. I just feel like the moment you bite into your pizza, it's like instant comfort and happiness gratification that you actually got this pizza. I mentioned earlier that you can use footage and animation as b-roll. So if you forget to shoot b-roll or you just don't have any relevant b-roll, then graphics or animation are great things to add in as b-roll. You see this a lot in educational videos where the b-roll can just be tough to film. So having stills, animated text, or graphics can serve the exact same purpose. Without b-roll, it's just hard to set a tone or mood with just a talking person. Adding B-roll can add context to your story and help engage your audience to follow along. For example, if you start your shot with uh, black and white B-roll, then it's gonna feel a lot different than if it had color. So in that way, it will help set up the tone for the story you're trying to tell. When shooting an interview, a good rule of thumb is to set aside enough time to be able to capture your B-roll later on. It's best to shoot the B-roll after the interview so you know what shots to get. So when you're filming an interview, you really want to pay attention to what your subject says because they're going to hint at what kind of B-roll shots you need to get. When it comes to filming B-roll, we mostly film in slow motion. Why? This is because we want both options of real-time speed and slow motion in the edit. If you shoot in 24 frames per second, which is regular speed, then you just can't slow that footage down later on in post. Then we also shoot in 4K, which is nice because you can crop in tighter in post and it's like you have a second camera, so you get two shots out of that. Having B-roll in your videos will help set the tone and context in your projects. It helps by enhancing your video, by keeping the pace, and engaging your viewers. What are some of your favorite ways to use B-roll in your videos? Let us know in the comment section below. Hope this video helped you out and you learned a little bit more about B-roll. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already because we're going to be making tutorials every week. We'll see you next time.